by golly, it's an absolutely miserable day today. I've just dropped Alara off at nursery and uh, I've got a day ahead of just sourcing. It's not a full day, it's a half day because I am working security night. Security tonight. The Philharmonic for the comedian Stuart Lee. He's got two, two sold out gigs tonight and tomorrow at the Philharmonic. So doing a bit of security tonight, but today sourcing new stuff for the shop. So let's go. eBay. So first stop is the Rainhill Charity Shops. So let's pop in here, see if they've got any good stuff. Last time they did. I haven't been here for about a week. Let's see what they got. God, it is a horribly depressing day though. Hey, look at that. <laughs> well, Valentine's Day is coming up. Get yourself some of these. Let's see what they got. Might need one of them afterwards <laughs> if you have a good Valentine's night. Okay, let's uh, let's get straight into this because I need to be, uh, well, I need to get ready for work, which I'm going to leave the house in 38 minutes for. It has to be 38 minutes exactly, otherwise I'll be late. So let's get into what I bought today. First of all, from the charity shop, the lovely Rainhill charity shop that is where did I put that bag it's here somewhere where have I put that bag oh it's here it was here the whole time so this is something new for me um and I thought I'll give this a go it's books <laughs> it's new uh, listen it's new for me reselling books aren't a new thing to me I've seen and handled and read books before some some books but basically these were um five for a pound and I was looking them up on uh, on eBay, and they were reselling for about five, eight pounds, some of these books. So I thought, you know what, for two quid, I'll get ten books and see if they sell. A little um, rundown of what I've got. The Royal Horticultural Cultural Society Gardeners Encyclopedia of Plants and Flowers. A couple of, uh, are they GCSE or... Yeah, GCSE drama and history books. Hunter S. Thompson, Better Than Sex, that's the name of the book. Um, an A-level, is this a teacher's guide? Complete revision and practice. So again, for the for students, for their A-level geography, which obviously the exams are coming up in a couple of months. So uh, supporting teaching and learning in primary schools. Again, teacher resources. Um, I'm sure these materials are fantastic. This comes with a CD as well. Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and uh, Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman was the guy that did that comic book thing on Netflix recently. What was it? It was really good. Like a vampire thing, I think. Something like, oh, he was like a dead moody sort of devil demon thing. I, I don't know. The X-Files Volume 2. Uh, things of the unexpected, unexplained, unexpected. Russell Brand's Bucky Wook 2. Um, used to be a fan of, of Russell Brand, like 20 years ago when he was doing Big Brother's Little Brother. Thing, things of uh, things that shall we say his reputation's taken a hit in the nicest possible way um, but someone whose reputation is completely intact and he's a really nice guy Ian Rush uh, met him a couple of times he is genuinely a nice guy that's all I got from charity didn't I get something else from the charity shop oh yeah that I, a big Batman what was it called like a the, the pictures are just lines and then the little kids colour them in with paint and stuff one of those books Good. All right, all done in the YMCA, Rain Hill. Got myself some stuff, filled up a bag, didn't I? Um, it's still pissing down, still horrible, still miserable. Gonna go drop this stuff in the car. Go check out the one round the corner. One of the subscribers to the channel um, did suggest the Willowbrook in Thatto Heath. So if that's on the way to Warrington, which is where the, the main like stop off of the day is, then, uh, I'll, I'll go check that one out, see if it's any good. But uh, £4.50 spent here, 10 bucks, and a Batman art set. But I don't know, that might just be for me. Might not even sell that, I might just keep it and do it myself. It's about my level. A few moments later. Gutted, there wasn't really anything in that uh, that second charity shop here in Rain Hill. Mustn't have had uh, decent donations, or someone else has got in there and taken all the good stuff before me. Anyway. Uh, it's, rain's getting heavier now, so let's crack on, go somewhere else, we've, we've exhausted Rain Hill, as lovely as it is, it's time to go to our next destination, which is Thato Heath, at least it would have been Thato Heath, uh, but I've just pulled up, and the place that I was coming to is a place called Second Chance, I've seen it on, uh, on the old Google, when I had a little look for charity shops near me, looked alright, 
Uh, it's it's closed. I don't know if it's like closed today for now or just closed forever. The reviews on it are from like three, four, five years ago. So maybe it shut down a while ago and, and just Google did an update. But I'll have a little look around Thato Heath, uh, see if there's anything else. If not, it's on to the trade outlet and see what we can get from there. It's worth pointing out, it's still absolutely chucking it down. I haven't even brought a bag, but nothing to this one because I don't even know where I'm going or if there's even anything here. I've been to Thato Heath once in my life and uh, it, it's, there's a little bike shop. Bought my helmet from there. It's a nice little story for you. Guys seem nice in there as well, but apparently, forgive the traffic, apparently there was like an eight week waiting list to get your bike repaired. So I ended up just going to Decathlon instead. Uh, well, this is Thato Heath. Bookies, local shop, pharmacy, lots of takeaways. Maybe some charity shops. But the second, where's the second life meant to be? Further up here, I think. Let's have a little look. Look at, you see how heavy it's raining? That, that puddle wasn't there two minutes ago. Now it is. He's smashing these, pub. Yeah, gotta be something around here, but that's, that's the shop over there. That's, that's second chance. It's, it's, it's even got like an old fashioned phone number on it. Maybe that has been shut down for years. Oh well. Let's go see if there's anything else in any of these other shops. This is, this is awful, there's, there's actually nothing here. Oh, there's not nothing here, but there's, okay. Turkish barbers, Turkish barbers, a vape shop, mini market, takeaway, takeaway, another barber shop, bookies, chiropody center, the bike shop I was telling you about. There's no here, there's nothing in Thato Heath. Like Thato Heath is literally, there's no here. Right, I'm gonna find the person that left that comment. I think his name was Ian, of course it was. Look. The, Three Christmas trees, that's it. That's all Thato Heath has. I'm absolutely soaking wet. I've come out here, I'm fuming now. Unbelievable. And I, I, afterwards, I should have Googled it before. I, I'm, I'm sure he said it was like the Willowbrook in Thato Heath. So I Googled Willowbrook near me. The nearest one is 1.4 miles away. Unbelie unbelievable. Right, I'm off to the trade outlet. Can't be doing with this. Soaking wet, not blaming anyone but myself because I should have verified. But folks, if you're gonna give a recommendation, I want the actual GPS coordinates to like the fifth little decimal point because uh, I'm all wet now. Oh well, off to the trade outlet. A little later. All right, there it is. I don't know, you can see in the background, but I'm, I'm, I'm calm. I've calmed down now after that Thato Heath debacle. Thato Heath. Barbers, takeaways, and boozers. Couple of betting shops. Not really much go. If that O'Heath had a tourist board, they should be sacked. Why should they be sacked? There's nothing to promote. There's nothing nice in that O'Heath. I'm not I'm not here to slag off that O'Heath. It's not that O'Heath's fault. It's got a stupid name as well. While we're there. You know what? Let, let, let's forget it. Let's get in there. Let's pick up some uh, some stuff to resell. I'm 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 over the whole Thato Heath thing now. I I am I am I truly am. Still miserable. Still chucking it down. I'm not a fan of that as well. Ugh. Three hundred and forty-six minutes later. All done at the trade outlet. I've spent I've spent too much. I filled up a cage. Uh, Two hundred and fifty quid that was. Um, well, let's get back into the office and see what. I've... Um, I thought I cleared the shelves of them, but I found one more. Um. This is one of those dog bite sleeves. Picked it up for four, four quid. We will resell. Same as the other ones for about 35. Oh, ping. Oh, is that ping? That Super Mario sounds. Doodly doodly doodly. So I'll put this with the others. If you are an, an older or a less able bodied person than someone like me, you'll need a mobility bath transfer bench, which is padded and has an armrest. This cost me 12 pounds. There were, there were several of these. Um, and I thought I'll give it a go for 12 quid because it reckons it's got a resale price brand new of close to 100 pounds. I'll probably price it competitively around 70 to 80, but still 12 pounds into 75 pounds, 80 pounds. That's worth a go. I only bought one. If it goes, if it goes relatively quickly, I'll be straight down that trade outlet and buying the rest of them. I think there are about seven or eight more of these. Let's get this big thing out of the way. This potentially is just for me. It's one of those roll up banners. Um, I, I, won't, I won't show you the box or hold it up. Just trust me, it's a very, it's a tall, it's taller than me. It's a big box. Um, 
it's one of those pull-up green screen things that streamers have behind them um, and you can chroma key yourself out. I'm going to use it to do like visual effects in these videos, like moving forward. I saw one the other day, absolutely creased me up. Um, Alara was watching the Disney Channel and the, she was watching toy, this Toy Story thing and there's a character called Forky and uh, it's, it's a fork that the kids put googly eyes on and it's come to life. I don't know who does the voice for it, but they're brilliant. Anyway, um, he's got this this little Forky Ask Questions mini series, and the opening to it is he's just like, it's asking questions. Like, but as he's doing it, he's all transparent and like floating across the screen. Instead, I re it just it absolutely, I, I, I thought it was hilarious. Um, so I'm just going to rip that off and and do it myself. I'm going to make myself like float across the screen asking vague, silly questions as a little intro to something like this. Anyway, just thought you should know. It's a big green screen thing. It costs, uh, costs 20 quid to buy. It does have a resale value of about 120 to 130 if it's if it's all in good condition. If it was well, it's brand new, it it is worth that. So I'll I'll get this out um and then I'll have you know have words with Danny. She'll probably say you're not keeping that. Where's it going to go? I'm going to say doesn't matter. I'll make it work. They'll be back and forth. If if you see it behind me in a video one day, it's because I won. I won the argument. It wasn't an argument though. It was a emotional discussion. Let's get this out of the way. Ugh, that's a weighty box. Ugh. All right, let's carry on. What else did I get? Let's let's whiz through these because I'm running out of time. Um, one, two. I think there's four of these, but they're more of those vegan dog leads that Danny found. Knocking them out for about five, six pounds each. Yeah, about six quid each, just under. So four of those, and they will resell for about 30 quid each. Another Caesar Milan dog um, dog backpack. What was it, just to, just for the video? Uh, eight pound, resell for about 40. Put it on the pile. Uh, another uh, Luigi's plungers, uh, bought for two pound, resell for 13. Yeah, that sounds about right. Put that with the others, like Skittles over there. Uh, Right, the rationale behind what you're about to see is that it is now the 6th of February. In a week's time, it's going to be like everyone gets super horny because it's Valentine's Day and the fellas go on eBay and they're like, adult couples games, sexy things to do with your partner. And a cheap and easy thing to do is just blindfold her. And <laughs> trust me, um, this was 50p, resell for about £2.50 dead cheap on the postage because it's dead thin um but they're little satin uh blindfolds now if they don't sell in time for valentine's day and i, I gotta get them up and i've got to get them listed and shipped really quick uh, then it's fine because people believe it or not they have intercourse right the way through the year not just on one um particularly romantic day in february that's impossible that's impossible. Um, if you, listen, oh, I haven't got time to go into it, but trust me, don't just be romantic on one day. Don't just be uh, emotional and thoughtful on one day. Do it all the time. Do it as often as you can. By do it, I mean be emotionally, you know, thankful and grateful and sharing and uh, all that lovely stuff. Um, don't just reserve it for one day of the year. It's silly. Anyway, uh, to help people have loads of filthy sex, I've bought loads of these blindfolds. I don't even know how many. When I'm editing the video, these numbers will reflect the amount that I bought, but they're, what did I say, 50 people? Resell for a couple of quid. I mean, 4X in your money. That's that's a thumbs up from me. God, does it feel rushed, because it is. Uh, right, keeping on the theme of helping people boink each other. I bought, that was, um, that's not a, 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 a fisting, at, like getting punched. It was, um, you know, I've got this sexy corset in white. Two pounds spent, resell for about 20, if I'm lucky, uh, but it'll be priced to go quickly before the Valentine's Day. But again, if not, it'll sit on the shelf until some horny fella goes, my wife would look fantastic in that. I'm gonna buy it on eBay, get it shipped to him, and yourselves a great time. Boink away. I've got a corset in black. I've got a, another corset in black, different sizes. Uh, sticking with that stuff, what's this one? Oh, that's to play on the insecurity of women's body image. 
Wait, what? Right, um, more blindfolds. I told you there was loads of them. Listen, trust me, if you've not, like, done it blindfolded, do it blindfolded. It's, uh, well, it's fun. Right, these things, I've got a few of them. They're, um, you know when women are like, oh, I don't look the same shape as the, the this person who has, uh, millions of pounds in the bank and celebrity personal trainers and they've got a, a chef that comes in and they get paid to be slim and uh, work out and, and look beautiful on, on screen and stuff and then they compare themselves to that person like why don't I look like that and then companies come along and then they make these things where you get yourself and it's like a elasticated thing it sucks everything in and, and then people like me come along and sell them to these women I don't look I think it doesn't matter what this looks like. This is just a vessel for you to experience the universe as best as you possibly can. It means deep stuff, Ricky. You wouldn't understand. However, there are some people that, that value, that they think their value is, is, is it, it, it's what people see in this shape. I haven't got time. I haven't got time to go into it, but trust me, it's not important, but for some people it is. And for those people that want to change the shape of themselves, I've got these. They cost uh, two pounds or, what's that one? Yeah, three pounds for that one. Another two pounds over here. Again, these will reflect the, how many, there are, there are a few of them. Uh, I've spent a fair bit today. Um, but they're, they're for, uh, let's help people get suck, go from, let, to sucked in. Um, there's another one, the heavier duty one, this one's just four pounds, but it reckons it resells for 40 because it has to do a lot of, lot of work to, you know, so it depends on the sort of aesthetic that you want. There's another one, as I said, let's get these totals updated. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be late for work. Okay, computers these days, laptops, my desktop PC, things like that, they don't have in them, um, DVD, rewriters or players anymore and so people's mm, cds and dvds and stuff that they buy if they get them they can't play them they've got nothing to get them in these are external dvd rewriters they had loads of them uh, these are just a nameless brandless one whatever two pound less than two pound each they were i bought 10 of them they will resell for about 12 to 14 pounds each brand new in the box Away they go, away they go to the new people. So, 10 of those. Oh, and trapped in amongst all of that is a pair of these geeky glasses. I don't know if you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit on there. They're not to resell. I'm playing a mad scientist character. We've discussed this before, you and I, the people watching this video. And uh, it, it, it was 50p and I thought that would add to the character. So, I bought that for business, but not this business. The other business, one of the other businesses, Danny's business. That, uh, that we've got going on. And this is, uh, <laughs> um, I'll just read the, uh, the, the thing. You can, you know what this is for with Valentine's Day coming up. Men's leather harness, adjustable body chest, half harness belt, punk gothic shoulder strap in black. Cost a pound, really sells for 10. Uh, if you've ever watched like Police Academy, there's a fella in there. He's got the, it's a, I don't know why they do it, but it's an aesthetic. Some people like it. And, and this is uh, for those people. Valentine's Day. You know, it's not just between, uh, I'm going to stop talking because anyone can have a Valentine's Day. That's the point I was trying to make. And I don't want to put my foot in it. Um, this is another one of those things that you wrap around your waist and it sucks you in, uh, up, whatever. Uh, this is a GoPro uh, waterproof dive case. Less than two quid, resells for 12, 14 if, if we have a, a good buyer. Uh, this is uh, this is for Alara. She's absolutely into Toy Story at the moment. It's the cowboy hat, the vest and uh, the thing for that. Uh, she's gonna absolutely love that. It's probably far too big for her. But uh, it was like just over four quid. Couldn't say no. That's not for business. That's that's a, a self-indulgent purchase. That one. That's for me. And what? Um, going from that to this. Uh, remember on one of the last videos, I bought computer components that cooled the other computer components. This is one of those. This is. Um, uh, uh, the Noctua. So same brand as the last one that sold. I sold two of them. One I think went for about thirty-ish pounds. The other one went for about 90-ish pounds. Um, this one's recommended guide price uh, for it is a, a tower cooler. Uh, I paid 11 pounds for it. The recommended resale price, uh, if it was new, would be 76 pounds and 32 pence. So I need to 
get this out of its box, have a look, make sure everything's there, and then sell it for about that. If everything is as it should be, then this will go again for about £70. If it's not, you can about half that price. I went crazy on those. There was a shelf full of them. I've picked them all up because the two that I got, they went within a week and they were, again, I paid, I think, £14 for the last one that sold for 35 and for 90. The, the one that sold for 90 was in new condition and one that sold um, for half the price was uh, someone had tried to put it into a computer, hadn't done so well. So it was sold kind of as seen. Uh, it depends on how these are, if they go for 70 pounds or if they go for about 30, 35, 40. Remains to be seen, but let's assume that they're all in fantastic condition. That's what these totals will reflect. Got some big, heavy, uh, Stuff. Uh, two more. I did say I bought four of these earlier in the video, so I don't think I'll count them here. But uh, more vegan dog leads, uh, different sizes. One's a lead, one's a leash, one's a collar. They're, they're, they're vegan leather, so there's a market for that stuff. More Luigi's. Uh, that's a, like a siphon pump. Put it in the Luigi pile. Uh, let's go through. Uh, more. Uh, what are they called? Um, sex clothes, corsets. Put them in a pile, put them in the pile of the other sex related stuff. Sorry, Valentine's related stuff. Uh, this is a scale electric Ford Cosworth. Cos Cosworth. Cosworth. Um, it's in fantastic condition. Cost me 12, 13 pounds. We'll resell. I saw on eBay the last one of these sold for 40 pounds. So there we go. Uh, a nice little. Scale Electric, Ford Cosworth. Uh, bought because the Blues Brothers one that I bought, uh, when I bought it for about seven quid, it was sold for 35, I think, there or thereabouts. So this one, I know will sell. That's why, you know, it's a, it's a guaranteed seller. You just gotta sit there, find the right person to find you. Uh, this, this, all that's left now, oh, hold on. No, there's another Luigi siphon pump thing. Um, more of these towers. These ones are slightly bigger. They've definitely be opened. Whether they've been attempted to be installed, I don't know. But um, the, the larger ones recommended retail price, a brand new, is £108. So if everything in here is looking like it's 108 quid's worth of stuff, that's what it'll be sold for. If it looks like it's been used or attempted to be installed and it's, it's been out of its box and all that sort of stuff, then you've got about, you're looking about half the price. But still, not bad from a £16 investment. It'll go for some good money. And there are one two, three of the big ones. That's the ones with the 100 odd pound um, recommended price. Oh, bit of gas there for you. And then there are three of the 76 pound ones that I paid 11 pound for. There we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the as a very, very quick video of what I bought today on my little sourcing day. Tomorrow, Wednesday, all of this, all of this gets listed, put on eBay, and um, the thing, the orders that have come in today will be picked, packed, and posted tomorrow. So tomorrow is a busy hands-on day, but it's a day where I'm here in the office all day smashing through all this uh, and the stuff that's been bought as well. So thanks very much for watching. I'm, just, I'm This felt like it was a little bit rushed. Sorry about that. It was a little bit rushed. I now have to go get some uh, clothes on that are appropriate for my, my other job in security. So I will go do that. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Uh, and visit the website, visit backstage.com. Some of this stuff is listed there. Most of the stuff is just thrown straight on eBay where you can buy it or bid on it there. It's, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Cheers. I'm, I gotta go, I gotta go to work. Thank you for watching. Bye, bye.